Ontario Natural Championships. We're with Christy Wolf. Hi guys. At the SC Pharmaceuticals and Pharma Free booth. And we're going to go talk to some of the athletes. We're going to find out about their show prep. It's a big day for them, and I guess they're all pretty excited with Nationals only two weeks away. So we're looking forward to seeing all some great athletes today. Yep, let's hear what they say. for uh, competition for you? I think this time the toughest part was the double cardio, getting up in the morning, getting it done day in, day out. Uh, really took a toll on me. But at the end of the day, got it done, very happy with it. The double cardio? Double cardio. So in the morning and then later in the day? Yes. Oh my on God. the step mill every time. And what, what do you usually eat after a competition out of curiosity? <laughs> I'm going to tell you tonight. Okay. It's a nice meal at Milestone. Don't nice. work for them, but uh, looking forward to a nice chicken curry bowl. Sounds good. Yummy. Yes. So I'm here with Jade, just got off stage, uh, and I want to ask you what the toughest part of preparing for the contest was for you. For me, uh, probably the uh, the last week, so comp prep's probably the hardest. Um, the carb depleting, um, yeah, cut, cut back on the on the carbs is the, is the big one. Um, reducing water is another one, so yeah. that's, that's always tough, you know, you're so thirsty. It messes and, with uh, your energy too, I guess, yeah, eh? absolutely, yeah, so yeah, for me it's, it's uh, cutting, the, cutting the carbs in that last week. And um, and yeah, reducing the water, you know. Right on. That's, that's the toughest part, I think. So, what are you looking forward to eating tonight after uh, after you're done? Tonight, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe prime rib or uh, maybe Chinese. Uh, yeah. Carbs, man. Carbs. Partial, what, are you, what, what carbs are you gonna get in there? Yeah, definitely fries. Uh, <laughs> All right, cool. Baked potato, maybe. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see those abs. Oh yeah. My boy Oscar, he's uh, hooked up with the freak mode, freak mode shirt. He's not competing today, but this is Mr. Nationals. He just won one Nationals two weeks ago, and I uh, just had wanted to ask him a couple questions. So, Oscar, what uh, what's the hardest part of your prep? What's the hardest part when you're prepping for a show? The hardest part is uh, probably the last two weeks, just getting everything together, all the meal plans, yeah. the cardio in, yeah. and make sure everything is point to point. Yeah. Hard, it just has to be 100% legit perfect. You gotta do everything the right way. Right. Right. And what's your what's your favorite cheat meal? Like, what's the first thing you want to eat when you get home? The favorite cheat meal is uh, we hamburger and fries and cheesecake. <laughs> we know that one. Oh, and red wine. And red and wine. Red wine. Exactly. All right, brother. Well, congrats on your win, Thank and you. uh, keep keep your eye out on this guy. He's gonna kill it again next year. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Pat. Uh, he just finished his competition. How'd you place today? I got third in men's middleweight. Oh yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, listen, I wanted to ask you, for you, what was the toughest part of preparing for the show? The toughest thing for me is I travel for work a little bit, so getting those quality workouts in uh, while I'm on the road is tough. Yeah. And cutting out uh, those comfort foods. Yeah, absolutely. Burgers, fries, stuff like that. How did you manage uh, getting your workouts in when you're on the road? Uh, Finding local gyms, uh, I don't have a membership at Good Life that's across the country, so find those local gyms trying to sneak in, or hotel gyms making the best I can out of it. Sounds good. Listen, after the show tonight, what are you going to be eating? Blizzard. Yeah. Ribs. Perfect. Hey, I'm here with Jordana, just got off stage. Hey, How'd you do today? I did pretty well, I think. I'm hoping top five. We'll see. Excellent. I'm looking forward to that. Listen, for you, what was the uh, toughest part of preparing for the show? I think the toughest part for me for preparing for the show is the mental battle that you go through every day. There's days that are going to be good, and then there's days that are going to be bad where you feel like you're going to give up, and you just have to push past those barriers and focus on why you're actually doing this, and it's really only for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can imagine the mental side of things is definitely. almost as tough or tougher than the physical. Yeah, I think so. 100% is tougher than the physical, for me anyways. <laughs> so you made it through the tough did, part. Yes. What are you going to be doing tonight? I am going to uh, enjoy a glass of red wine that I haven't had in such a long time and probably indulge in a nice juicy burger. Sounds good. So I'm here with Jean, just got off stage, and how'd you do today? I placed first. I see it. Oh yeah, very nice. Listen, for you, what was the toughest part of prepping?
prepping for the show? Uh, right now I'm in school, so I had exams the same week. So I had to study, I had to diet, I had to stay on point on my game, even though I was studying till 3 a.m. for uh, university courses. I'm actually a software engineer also. So the hardest part of prepping for me is just staying in school, working at the same time, taking care of just my personal life, and um, keeping up with my diet. The water intake is crazy the last few weeks. Yeah. So that was probably the hardest part of my uh, prep, going in the bathroom 24-7. Yeah. But well, you, you have to do what you got to do, right? So uh, how did you? Any any t uh, tips or secrets to managing it? Anything to help you along the way? Um, well, if you know what you want, you got to get what you want. Right? It's just a mindset, right? Yeah, you just have to like keep it, keep at it. Like right now, I'm completely like dead, but it's worth it, right? Right on. Yeah, yeah. you did well. Listen, so, after the show, what are you gonna eat tonight? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna go down to Boston Pizza with some friends. Yeah. My family's over, so probably the They'll join if they want to do something afterwards, yeah. probably eat some more. Perfect. All right, let's see Willow's abs before you blow it out. All right. Oh, yeah, looking good, buddy. All right, just got off stage. Uh, you mind introducing yourself? Uh, my name is Sheldon Bark Morales. Uh, I'm from Barrie, Ontario. Hey, that's where I'm from. Men's physique medium class. Listen, for you, what was the toughest part of preparing for the show? Uh, I'd say the toughest part of preparing for the show is just I guess being not quite alone, but uh, you, you really have no social life. Uh, your friends, your family, unless they're prepping or have done prep, they, they won't necessarily understand exactly how alone you are in terms of, you know, you gotta get up, you gotta do your cardio, you gotta get to the gym, you gotta work on top, you got a lot of different factors you have going into it prepping, you know, it's not just, okay, you know, I get up, I eat, and I go to the gym. You know, a lot of people don't understand that, like, you, you do have a lot of, like, time alone, and it's a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of self-motivation that's involved in this sport. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of self-reflecting, you know, you're constantly looking at yourself in the mirror, you're constantly training, okay, what can I improve on? And, you know, most of the time you're by yourself, because, again, it's about you yeah. and what you're capable of doing. For sure, listen, you made it this far. Oh, yes. Show's done. What yes. are you going to do tonight? What's uh, on the menu? I'm thinking cheesecake, pizza, and maybe Jack Astor's after for a nice burger. So. Sounds good. What was the toughest part of prepping for the show for you? Um, the second prep. I did a show two weeks ago, and depletion after was leg day and sprints following. And my hamstrings didn't recover. Oh, shit, day. yeah. <laughs> that sounds brutal. Enjoy your cheat meal tonight. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, congratulations. The day is done. How did you do? Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Yeah. It felt amazing. Just won first place in the uh, men's physique medium. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. And it, was, it was awesome. It was uh, a good time to uh, prepare for this show. Now it's all done, so I'm happy. Nice. And what was your name? Uh, Didier. 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 Congratulations, thank man. Thank you so much. And uh, what, what's your name? Jeremiah Ali. Jeremiah, how did you do today? Uh, I came first in my class. We got a couple of first place winners here. Yes, sir. Nice job. Listen, I was wondering for you, what was the toughest part of prepping for this show? Uh, honestly, the uh, times on then just having to wake up, uh, faster cardio, a couple of three, four hours of sleep for like two weeks straight. Those were a little tough, but just kept focused and I knew I had to put in the work, so I did. And there was no complaining, you know? Sounds just gotta do what you gotta do. What about you? What was tough for you uh, as far as uh, prepping? Like, the, it was definitely the mental part. Uh, days when you're tired, low carbs, you don't want to go to the gym, you don't want to do cardio, you don't want to pose in. You just want to take it easy and relax, but uh, you know that your body's stronger than that. For the level that we're competing on, you want to do well, you got to push your body to witness. So just push through those mental barriers and getting the job done. So congratulations, what, how did you place today? First place, Masters, lightweight. So see that trophy? Very nice. And what is your name? Charles Duffy. All right, congratulations, Charles. Listen, for you, what was the toughest part of prepping for the show? Well, uh, for me, I've been competing for uh, six, seven years now, and uh, it's getting older. It's uh, trying to take your time, not trying to hurry things up tends to be the, the biggest challenge. You find things do take more time to prep with? Most and, definitely. And yeah. yeah, they yeah. do. And the hard part is, is you want everything to happen the way it did six years ago. Yeah, when yeah. Did, ten yeah. years ago, etc. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I know the feeling, buddy. Well, you did really well. What are you going to do now at the show? What do you get? What's on the menu? Actually, I'm uh, going to I'm going to go do a leg workout.
work out tomorrow morning and start prepping for nationals in two weeks. Oh my god, no time to indulge. Oh no, no, I don't believe in indulgement. Alright, well good for you. <laughs>